Hi there, thank you for tuning in to Monoprice.com on our YouTube channel. My name is Sean Blatherick of the Monoprice Tech Support Team. Today we're going to show you how to install ATA2 SATA2 ports on your PC using Monoprice PID 3581, the PCI Express Serial ATA2 SATA2 card. Serial ATA, SATA or Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, is a computer bus interface for connecting host bus adapters to mass storage devices such as hard disk drives and optical drives. This serial was designed to reduce cable bulk cost, native hot swapping, faster data transfer through higher signaling rates, and more efficient transfer through an optional IO queuing protocol. Now I'm going to show you how to install your PCI Express to SATA 2 card. First thing you need to do is you need to shut down your computer. Once you've shut down your computer, you need to unplug it from the wall socket. Now you're dealing with very static sensitive materials. So the body naturally carries a static charge. Before you start the installation, you want to use either a static sleeve, or if you don't have one of those, go ahead and touch the chassis of the computer to discharge any electricity you may be carrying. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and you can look in the computer and find your PCI Express slot. Once you've done so, go ahead and take out your SATA 2 card. Once you have your SATA 2 card, go ahead and locate the slot and install. Now you've got the card in the slot, go ahead and take the screw that comes with it and a screwdriver and screw it in. Once you've installed it, go ahead and plug it back in and start it up. Once you've done that, it comes with software, go ahead and install the software on your CD. And then you're done. To find this and other products on the web, just go to www.monoprice.com. Click on the search bar and type in product ID number 3581, the PCI Express Serial ATA2 SATA2 card. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to contact Monoprice Tech Support Team via the live chat at monoprice.com. Don't forget to visit our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Also, thanks to all of you for your great comments and support. Once again, my name is Sean Blatherwick, and I hope this tutorial will be helpful. Thank you for watching it, and don't forget to stay tuned for more video tutorials. See you guys next time.